This is this is the beginning. Right guys, good morning and welcome to your class. I'm just going to restart that. Hi Daniela, good morning as well to you. We're going to start our class. So let's start with the march on the right leg. Standing up nice and tall, swinging through those arms. Chest is lifted. Adjust your volumes please if you need to. Now take a wide march. Here we go. Wide. And then take it narrow. Bring it in. Remember, those of you watching on catch up, take the most suitable options. Just stay here for a moment. Brilliant. Swinging through the arms. Now take it wide for eight. Eight marches. Go. And then march it narrow. Bring it in. Beautiful. Now continue with that team. Keep it going. Wide. And then bring it into narrow. We're going to take a heel dig right and left. Here we go. So I'm going to start with the hands on the pelvis. You can now add the arms crossing over. So we're starting to warm up through the mid back. Heel taps down, bend the supporting knee and then take a side tap. Now hands go back to the sides and then you can add side lateral raise arms if you wish. Now can you stick with this? I just need to change one thing on my screen. Don't stop. Keep it going, keep it going because I just can't see everyone clearly. That's it, now I can see you, perfect. And now tap it to the back. Excellent. Can you all hear me clearly? Yeah? Right, march it again, let's march wide. And then march it narrow, bring it in. One more set, wide and narrow, go. And then narrow. Let's take a heel dig for eight, here we go. And eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, now tap it to the sides. A good way to warm up this morning. Now tap it to the back. Here we go. So you can keep the hands here or you can add the arms front. So anyone with injuries today, listen out for the options as we go along, please. So I'm going to move on from here. We're going to take a step touch to the right. Now is this too fast for everyone? Is this too quick? Is it okay? It just seems very fast today. Give me a bend and reach across. So Melissa, you're not gonna rotate. You're gonna keep your hips square to the front. Everyone else, you're gonna start to rotate now. Yes. We're gonna take a leg curl. So knee injuries tap, everyone else curl. Go. That's it, keep it moving. So the last move in the sequence is going to be eight knees with your left knee. Get yourself ready. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five. Brilliant. Now step touch in the center. Hold it right here. Did you get all that? Yes, no, maybe. Bend and tap. Single leg curls. We're going to take our eight knees over here now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then step touch in the center. Beautiful. So I'm going to take this all the way back to the beginning. Good luck, everyone. Four marches wide. Go. And then narrow. Do that again. You've got two more sets. This is a bit of brain gym on a Saturday. Think quick. Heel digs for four. Here we go. Four, three, two. Side tap for four now. Uh oh. Tap it to the back. Are you watching? Knee raise. Small, small, small. Heel dig again. Go. Four, three, two. Side taps. Backward taps. And then a small knee raise. Melissa, be mindful of your lower back. Step touch. Bend and reach, go. Woo. Not feeling so cold anymore, I hope. <laughs> Single leg curls. And then give me those eight knees, uh-oh. Brilliant. Everyone feeling okay? 
Step touch to the left. Go. Wow. This is like turbo boost, isn't it? <gasps> Bend and reach. Come on. Single leg curls. And then your eight knees here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now step touch in the middle. Just hold it here, a little holding pattern. So we're gonna walk it forward. Just watch and back. Forgot to stop my watch. Keep it going. Walk it forwards and backwards. Join in, join in now, go. So we're leading with the right leg, just to FYI everyone, right leg. Excellent. Whew. Get him warm. Noch einmal. Change to the left, change to the left, go left. So if you want to make this more intense, obviously you're jogging this whole bit. So you can jog it, if you want to that is. Okay guys, step touch for four, four. Three, two, bend and reach. Four. Single leg curls now. And then four knees. Uh oh, come on, Saturday. Step touch to the left. Go, high energy today. Bend and reach. Single leg curls. And then give me those four knees. Everyone in the room, walk it forwards to me. That's four times on the right. And again. Use your direction changes if you need to, depending on the space in your room. Now change to the left leg. Here we go now, left. Or the other left. Woo. Right, so the next movement involves a little bit of a skip. Now I'm just gonna take my feet wide. So my heels are raised, I'm on the ball of my foot and I'm shifting the weight from side to side. So that's my level one. Level two, you start to bounce a little. So Selma, how does that feel right now? That's looking good by the way, fantastic. Because I know you want it to bounce around a little bit, don't lie, you love it. <laughs> right, Frank, are you ready for this? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pulse it forwards and then pulse it backwards. Easy peasy. Join in, go. It's a bit of bone loading on the knees and the hips. And also what are we doing? Increasing the heart rate. Progression one, if you wish to accept, is a chest press. Take it back. Progression two is arms up. Oh yeah, take it back. My feet are still frozen, just saying. <laughs> take it back. Now hold it here, step touch. Wow, did you notice that got your heart rate up a little? Now take the arms in front of you. So if you've got any shoulder or neck injuries today, don't do the next move. So this is the slow version of what I'm doing. You could just stay quite low, elbows quite low. You could do this instead. So I'm thinking, Larissa, Selma, this might be a good option for you right now, yeah? Everyone else, up, open, in, down. Yes, continue, 200 more, oh yes. So this is the faster option if you wanna join in with me, yes. I'm gonna go back to the very top. Do you remember it? Four marches wide, go now and bring it in. Do that again, come on. So it all seems quite cheesy at the moment, but stick with it. Finalmente. Now, heel digs for four, let's go. Cuatro. Side taps, come on. Backward tap now. I need your attention. Four knees, low or high, you choose. Step touch to the right, go. Four, three, two. Bend and reach, exhale. Single leg curls now. You've got four knees on the way, go. Step touch to your left, Martin, go for it. Bend and reach. 
single leg curls. So you all know the sequence very well. This is it's a good way to warm up. Take a walk forwards and back on the right. Now you could run this if you wish. Now do that on the left, the other left. So let's balance out the muscles here and into a pulse right and left like this. This is the low, this is the high. So now I'm adding a little bit more arms. You can stay down here or you can join me with a combination. Now travel this forwards, here we go. Travel it back, yes. Come on, we want a bit of impact here, come on. Respira. Hold it right here, leg curls. Breathe. Now I'm gonna do repetition, so we're gonna do double curls. Wait for it, four more counts. Three more, two, get ready. Double curl left foot, right foot. Excellent, stick with that. Now, some of you have frozen, but I'm hoping you're still there. That's gonna become a double knee, double knee. Step touch, hold, double knee. Step touch, you see Lorita, I just wanted to catch you out there, that's all, ha <laughs> ha. And again, Victoria, can you see me? Keep it going, keep it going, double knee. Step touch, and again, double knee. Step touch, so the arms are gonna go pulling arms, Side lateral raise arms, pulling arms, back to your skip, do it now. That's it, good. Deep breaths. Now, level one, side taps. Level one, side taps. Stay here if you're not jumping today. Level two, jumping jacks. Go. Choose your options. Lisa, you're still frozen, but I'm hoping you are with us. Continue. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, march. Narrow, last round, come on. Woo. We're gonna take a heel dig, get yourselves ready. Heel dig for four now. Side taps, backward taps, I'm watching, knee raise, into your step touch to the right hand side, go now guys, continue, bend and reach, now bend and reach, someone's just left the room, leg curls, four knees, did you continue, step touch to the left, go, bend and reach, Single leg curls, four knees. Lisa, we're walking forwards. Here we go, walk it forwards. Professional catch up there, Lisa, 10 points to you. Now the left leg, let's go. Selma, I need to know you're good, please. Yes, everyone, double step touch. Return, continue with that. Now add some arms. So, Daniela, we want a nice little bounce in the middle or over the top. Go. 800 more. Go. Eight. Seven. Six. Lurita, watch those shoulders, please. Nice, Victoria. Come back to the center. Tap your heels. Now, if you want to jump, jump high or stay low. It's up to you. Yes. Now, side, flick kick. So we go, this is the low, this is the high. Now back, back, Frank, back. Now jumping jack or side tap. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, step touch, hold. Yes. You should feel a little warmer, yes or no. Tap it back, slow. Slow. Everyone in the room, stay where you are. I'm just demonstrating side on. Now, if you've got knee pain, I want you to encourage your joints. Watch. So you're doing a little knee bend. Let's go together. 
take your body weight slightly further forwards. Keep moving, it's getting pretty warm here. Woo. It's always nerve wracking, you think, have I taken off both the tops or is it just the first one? <laughs> don't need to be seeing the muffin top with me folks <laughs> okay now step touch here hold oh that's better breathe take it to two steps to the right now hold it here watch calf raise now I'm actually keeping the ball of the foot on the ground and I'm just raising my heels so this is totally safe for everyone right now so just getting a little bit of impact in is good we need it Level one, here. Level two, take it to a jump. So you can keep your hands down. You don't have to take your hands up. It's up to you. Go, go, go. Level three, you add the windmill and then the arms. Windmill. Now, you've got to watch your shoulder joints. So I'm doing really big moves here with my shoulders. Be mindful. Everyone, step, touch. Here we go now. Step, step. Brilliant. Bring the arms front and back. This is quite shoulder safe. This is quite shoulder safe right now. Watch me. You stay there. So all you're doing is you're walking to the side and tapping. So this is going to be my level one move. I promise the stretch is coming. It's one of those cold days where I need to get you warm really well, yeah? Okay, so from here, hold it. Three, two, one, back, go. Bum, bum, bum. Join in. So I'm doing three taps. Three, two, one, travel. Yes or no? This is the move I learned back in the day. Breathe. One more. That means each way. Go back that way. Tap it out, hold. Bring that down to a side to side. We're gonna take eight wide squats. Here we go, eight. I'm going slowly, seven, six, you're just checking in with your hips, your lower back, your knees, you've got one more, now step your right foot back, drop the knee a little, tuck your tail. Reach the right arm up if you can and take a side bend. Hold it there for me. And then come in and march whilst you stretch your shoulder or not. Tricep stretch. Roll your shoulders back. And then forwards. Left leg goes back. Drop the knee, tuck the tail. Maybe this is where you stay today or you join us. Go to the side. So you should be feeling it where I'm tapping there. Hip flexor, four, three, two, one. Bring it in and march. Give me a shoulder stretch or just march. Tricep stretch. And then we move into an upper back stretch. So you lace your fingers, keep marching. It looks weird, but go with it. And then take your hands behind you. We maintain the heart rate. And then roll your wrists. Half stretch, push your right foot back all the way, hands on your front thigh, stay there for me. Change legs. So I've got quite a wide stance, if you see me it's quite wide but I'm on two railway tracks. Hold it there for four more, three more, two and one, hamstring. So you lift your right toes and you go down for two and up for two. With relaxing, still present in the joints, don't force it, you know who I'm talking about. And you wanna stay down and hold. Check your posture, keep your eye line above your heart. 
now, if you cannot hold your foot in quad stretch, you will go back to hip flexor stretch. Everyone else, grab your foot and press your hip forwards. Now I'm watching balance. I'm watching balance. How's your balance today? Dance. Joking, let's do side two. <laughs> Down for two. I know, we went all serious in that warm up, didn't we? Breathe. Now we're gonna hold the stretch. Shoulders back, abdominals are on. They switch on, they're very clever. Now you either go back to your hip flexor stretch or join me for quad stretch. So we don't wanna touch down, we wanna try and keep maintain our balance. So with hypermobility, you might find you a bit wobbly on your ankles. So just slow it down, bend that knee a little. Abs are braced, hold it for four, three, two, one. Last stretches. So go back to your wide position. Level one, you'll be here. So Melissa, you stay here. Larita, maybe you go there and you stay there. Everyone else, take the arm above your head and hold, hold. And then you switch sides to the other side. So remember your levels, choose what suits you today. Watch the neck position as well today. Yeah, that was lovely. Hold it, four, three, two, one. I'm a fan of this neck stretch. Melissa, maybe don't do this one. So rotate the spine and look over your left shoulder. I'm pressing on my right knee and then I switch to the other side and I'm getting a release through my back into my ribs at the back. If anyone can feel that, I hope that's good. And then come in and lower back stretch. Level one up here, level two down here. So you're gonna tuck your tail and release. Obviously, if you have any spine injuries, you need to take care. Right, roll yourself up, guys. Give a little march. You need a drink of water now. That was a good, strong warm-up today. Keep moving. We're gonna be using our weights. So I'm just gonna change our music. Get yourselves ready. Maybe I don't need my gloves. Oh, it's not too bad. Okay, Lisa, I don't need my gloves. Selma, the weights were so cold I had gloves with me. <laughs> I know, I'm silly. Right, feet hip width apart. Let's do a squat for two. Down, down, up, up. Daniela, how are we doing over there? Looking fabulous, come on. Loving the blue on you today, that suits you, ma'am. <laughs> Keep it going, down for two. Martine, today we're going heavy, right? Yeah, three in one, here we go. Three, two, one. So Lisa, Larita, Melissa, your range may be less. Two and two, let's go, down. And up, sit your bum back. I've actually got my eye gaze down towards the ground, beyond my shoes. Weight even in your heels, down, down. So imagine you're picking up two suitcases. That's what this is, the suitcase squat. Bum goes back, yes. Right, slowly down for four, go. Wait, then come up. Do it again, so super slow, langsam, yeah? Langsam. And then up, Victoria, hello. Again, nice and slow, four. So imagine you're at the festival, you don't actually wanna sit on that loose seat, you're just hovering, that's what we're thinking. Hold. <laughs> Back to two and two, down, down. So the music's building. Now, Melissa, you may wanna stay slow here. We're gonna build this up to single counts. Are you ready? Here we go, singles. Breathe out as you come up. 
We've got eight more singles. Go, 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 Frank. Eight, seven, six. Track those knees forwards. Woo! Ah. Well done, weights down. Give it a shake. Step touch. Why? So I'm doing a bit of mix and match here. We're gonna do a bodyweight exercise next. This includes a lunge, a curtsy, and a side squat. So it's gonna go lunge, curtsy, side squat, center, lunge, curtsy, side squat, center, again. Come up, shake. Link. Yeah. Langsam. Well, that's slow to me. <laughs> I find that slow. <laughs> Is it too fast, Frank? Never. Never. It's a good tempo, I think. One more. Lisa, I'm just gonna say I'm very impressed right now. Step touch. How did that go for everyone? Were you happy with that? So the next move is going to be a lunge, curtsy, and a knee raise. Okay, get ready. March, just showing you, just showing you. So we go again, watch. Lunge, slow, curtsy, lunge, knee, together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep going. This can be done slower, which I demonstrated beforehand. So it's going to push your hip a bit, it's going to challenge your knee and your leg strength as well as your balance. Remember we were talking about balance. Keep going, keep going. 40 seconds on the clock. Your standing leg should be burning right now, yes or no? Yeah? Keep it moving. Twenty-three seconds. Ow. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You've got one more. Shake that leg out. Maybe give it a stretch if you need to. Woo. Good. Reset, nice and slow. Lunge, curtsy, lunge, knee. Give it a march. Okay, let's go. Time is on. So we wanna try and keep a good pace for you. You don't have to be going at my pace but you want to keep it continuous. That's it. All the way. I hope you approve of this movement, Frank. Are we good with that? Yep. Keep it going. Come on. Your right leg should be screaming right now. It should be really working hard. Watch the knee joints. Keep that posture so 20 seconds to go. Woo! Nineteen, come on! Ha ha! Ah. Five, four, three, two. Get one more in there, please, and shake it out. Okay, so upper body. We're going for some upright rows. You choose your weight. I'm going heavy. Get ready. Lift, lower. Now, I just need to double check. Selma, Lisa, Lorita, are you okay with this? 
Yeah, good, keep going. Lift, lower. So Martine, we're going for about a seven kilo. <laughs> yes. So increasing those weights, we've got to make it hard, it's got to be tough. Up, down, up, down. Breathe. You are going to take one foot back. Choose a foot. Double upright rows. Go. So Lisa, keep in that range. That's perfect. Exactly. Larita, if you start to feel that tension catching in the neck, that means stop, right? Yeah. We've got eight more to go now. Eight. Seven. So I'm not coming up very high because of the pace of the music. If you were in the gym, you'd go higher. Pause, shoulder shrug. So it's a lift and a lower. I'm just demonstrating from the side so you can see. Lift, lower. Bicep curl, right arm and then the left. So we're sticking with a good weight there, please. Nothing too easy. So no two kgs, huh? <laughs> Keep it going all the way. Squeeze, squeeze. Breathing out. You've got four, three, two, and one. Weights go down, collect a heavier set. Now, Melissa Larita, you're going to go down for shoulder bridge for this. Everyone else, we're doing deadlift. Okay? So go for your heavier weights. Get yourself ready. Deadlift. Down for two. And up for two. So you lower, lower, lift, lift. And just make sure, Selma, this is not too much pressure. You know what I mean? We want to make sure we're nice and safe there. If it doesn't feel right, Selma, go down for your shoulder bridges. But if you're happy, please continue. Melissa Larita, stay at your own tempo. Everyone else, three down, one up. Go. Three, two, one. So you're going to keep that bar close to your legs. Keep the spine long. The knees are slightly bent. And the neck is in a good position. One down, three up. Slowly to the top. This is harder because you're having to hold that position, Frank. Yeah. So the shoulders don't round forwards. We use the glutes to bring us back up as well as the hamstrings. And this is why I thought, Larissa, that wouldn't be a good move for you today. Yeah? Keeping it safe. We're going to go into some dead rows. Here we go. And squeeze. And then pull up. Go again. Go. So you want to separate your weights. Bring them down. Stand up. You should all be able to wiggle your toes because the weight is more on the heel. Now, three at the bottom. Three, two, one. Stand up, do that again. Right, bring yourself up, great. Okay, so put your weights down. Now, I'm Lisa Larita. You're gonna do sit to stand here. Everyone else, have a little look. You you're going to go from a kneeling position, there, lift your knee, come down, down, switch, lift your knee. Okay, so it's a, a walking lunge, are you ready? So we start down, we've got a minute of these, Martin, your favorite, up, lift, down, switch. I'm going to suggest, do this at your own pace. Good, how does that feel? Thelma, how does that feel? That's looking good, I'm seeing you doing it. Brilliant, keep going. So obviously Melissa, 
This may not be great for your knee joint today. Go for sit to stand on a chair. Everyone else continue. Try not to crash down on your knee joints. Wunderbar. Come on. Woo. 12 seconds to go. We love it, Victoria, don't we? Slightly. <laughs> Emma did this the other day. One more each leg, Frank. Let's go. One more each leg. And then stand up for me. Great. Tricep kickbacks, Daniela. Get ready. So we're going to have it standing or kneeling. Whichever one you prefer. Okay, so grab your weight. Get ready. So I'm using a seven. Really trying to challenge ourselves these days. Your body weight's forward. Your right forearm is, or left, whichever arm you're on, is supporting here and we're pulling back. Here we go. And rather than repetition, I'm using a timer of a minute. And I'm pulling back. I'm not going to swing through my shoulder. I'm keeping the upper arm still. Breathing out as you pull back. Nice. That's it. Keep going. All the way, team. Push, push, push. Is everyone okay? Yeah? You seem okay. Yeah? Keep going, keep going. Timer check. 20 seconds on that clock. So you're either going to do your push-ups against a wall now, or you're going to do it on the ground with me. Okay? So when you're ready, let's come down to push-ups. So a wall is safer. Everyone else, you're down. So your hands are shoulder width apart, tricep push-up, knees back, down for two, up for two. So elbows in. Sorry I didn't move the um, camera, it's just I want to keep the flow of the session. If you are standing, please don't face plant. Keep those shoulders back and down. Work to a position that's safe. If that doesn't feel right, Selma, take it onto your back for overhead triceps extension on your back. And that's the same for anyone else. Eight singles, here we go. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, shake it. Let's do side two. Daniela did the charger work. <laughs> okay, here we go. Are we ready? Side two and four, three, two, one. Daniela, if it does cut out, I'll send you the recording, right? Yeah, but I think we're still there. So I've got my opposite leg forwards and I'm pulling. My eye gaze is beyond my front foot to keep my neck in a neutral position. Breathing out. So keep moving. If it is catching in your shoulder, that means lie down and do it on your back instead because that's less pressure and you're not working against gravity as much through your shoulder, that is. Continue. So you're working. Okay, you can go on the beat or you can be at your own speed, pace. That's it. As long as we are using a heavy weight, really increasing our strength here and endurance. Breathing out, Woo. time check, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, last round of push-ups, you don't have to do them, you can lay on your back for overheads, hands under shoulders, get your knees back, get your shoulders over your hands, 2 and 2, down for 2, here we go, down and up. I want your hands narrow. Eight singles, here we go now. Eight, seven, six, five. Come on. Eight, 
Everybody stands up, bicep curl time. Up you get, grab a drink of water. And then we're gonna go to our resistance band, one of our favorite pieces of kit. This can be done sat or standing. Grab your weights. Right, are you ready, Victoria? Here we go. Everyone feeling okay? Keep going. Up and down. Lisa, are you feeling warmer yet? Good. Keep going, keep going. Up and down. So if you want to make it harder, kneel with me. Kneel with me. If you want to make it harder, get down to your knees. That's it, Frank. Perfect. Now both arms together. Two and two. One, two, down, two. Selma, do you approve so far? Everything's been good, I think, yeah? Fab. Lorita, how you feeling? Okay. Did I just see a double thumbs up as you did a bicep curl? Woo! Come on, lift. Lift, Martin. Go, slow and steady, slow and steady. Okay, Frank, we're gonna challenge us now. Hold it here, halfway. Right arm, then the left arm. So it's like a plank for your bicep. Oh, come on. Not easy. Without swinging in your back, both arms, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Weights go down. Resistance band on your legs, please. Everybody. Resistance band goes back on your legs for me. Grab a drink of water. Okay, so the band is just above your kneecap. If you don't have a band, it does not matter. Make sure your weights are out of your way for safety. You will start with a squat. Here we go. Down and up. Let's make it a bit interesting and add a chair to the mix. So add a chair. Join in. That's it. Now the sofa might be pretty soft, you know when you sit down, so really go gently. On the next one we don't actually want to touch down, so we go down to hover and then come up. Melissa, for you, you're going to go properly sat down please. That's it, so we just hover off that chair. Hover, reach the arms forwards. Breathing out as you come up. Wunderbar, come on, stay down now, hold it. Hands on your thighs, press down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand up, shake it out. So, level one. You will be away from your chair, doing your split squat here. Level two, Martin, <laughs> are you ready? So we're going for the Bulgarian split squat with the band on our legs today. Your knee hopefully touches down, okay? So that's what we want. So the top of your foot is on your chair or you're doing it on the floor. We're doing a minute. Are you ready? Let's go, down and up. You've got to fight against the band as well as having to press your whole body back up. That's it. Now my body weight is forward. And my knee is touching down, Frank. Look. Woo! Hello, Range. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Frank, I know what that smile means because this is tough, huh? <laughs> yeah. Keep going. We've got half a minute. How's Daniela doing over there? Sorry, I just put you off, Daniela. Apologies, please. Larita and Lisa, are you enjoying that split squat today? It's tough, huh? On the front leg, that's what we want. 13 seconds on the watch. Here we go, Selma, push it. Seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, shake it off. Ooh, I think we should have had Tom doing those, Selma. So he's like your tag team. He can be doing it. <laughs> next time, next time. So we're going to take the other foot. Are you ready? Lisa, did you approve of that? I'm just double checking. Great. Okay, guys, so find your range. Let's go. And down, down, up, up. So my eye gaze is down just beyond my front foot. And I'm thinking about my front leg. Push, Frank, push. Get that knee down. Victoria, this is challenging our balance, right? Yes, that's what we want. Good. Keep it going. Push. Keep moving, guys. The show must go on. I don't know why that stopped. Keep it going. Push, push, push. I have to remember which leg I was on. Okay. <laughs> Keep it going. We've got 15 seconds. Woo! Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up. Now, take a seat on that chair for a moment, and you're going to do an external rotation before we do wall sit. You heard me correct. So sit on your chair, hold, keep the band and legs just open, open, close, close. That's it. Lovely. Stay with it. Is Martine preparing? Ten points to you, Martine. That's why I said it. We need to prepare, don't we? Okay. Now rest the weights on your lap for a moment. Have a look. One weight goes up and comes down. So anyone out there who's not lifting weights above your head, your second set is here. So when you're ready, you're going to join me. We twist and press. Twist and press, Frank, like that. Yes. That's it, Victoria. Nice. I know Selma is there. I'm just hoping you haven't collapsed. Selma, you are still there. Health and safety. Keep it going. Push. Both arms together after the last one. Here, let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. One single weight. Wall sit. So find a wall. I'm using a 10 kg weight or plate. Find that wall. Are you ready, Selma? We're going to sit against the wall. I've got a band on my legs and I've got a weight today. Get down, Lisa. Here we go. Right, so Martine, the weight's going to go up a little and down. Up and down. Keep going. Let's set that timer, everyone. We'll do a minute because we've got a weight and a band. I would say a minute and a half. So the weight's just going to go up and down. Not too high about your eyebrow height up and down that's it can you all press the band into press your legs into the band please keep moving Woo. you are halfway through half a minute go Push, 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 push. 11 seconds. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo. Come off the wall safely. Watch your knees. We're coming down for core work. Lose your band. Coming down to the ground. Keep your weights nearby. 
You're on your back. You're on your back. Right, so you've got your weights. We're gonna do a chest press with an abdominal curl. So a bit of a buy one, get one free. Now, Melissa, you may just want to do a chest press. So we'll all start with the chest press. So we're gonna go down and up. Notice my arms are at an angle. My weights, should I say. So I'm gonna add a chest raise as I come up. Up, up, down, down. Breathing out. That's it. Breathe. Come down. Exhale, exhale. But every time you push the weights up, you lift your chest at the same time rather than one and then the other. Now, eight singles to the beat. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Weights down. Shake. Okay, so, Melissa, very small rotation here. Everyone else, grab your heavy weight, lift your knees up. Martin, Daniela, we did this yesterday. Rotate to the side and come up. So the weight's going opposite your legs. So that's gonna be my level one. Level two, you extend the legs. So Selma, just check in that there's not too much pressure in terms of abdominal loading here, yeah? So just work to your range, please. Keep it going. Lisa, I've lost you, I think. I hope you're there. So coming back to the center, everyone. Feet down, weight up. Lift for two and lower for two. Continue, lift and lower. Lift, lift. Lower, lower. Right, leave the weight behind you for a moment and move the other weight out of your way. So there's two options going on here. Option one, your feet stay on the floor and you just tap like this. Okay, so Melissa, you're gonna stay here. Option two, you lift your chest. Option three, we are doing full. Full, okay, full, like that. Now, you can use one hand behind the skull, and that helps, so opposite hand, boom. I find that's easier, like that. Yes. Ten more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Rest for a moment. Now, level one, weight on your lap, shoulder bridge. Level two, reverse curl. Lift, here we go, and lift. Up, up, down, down. So Melissa, remember, I'd, I'd like you to stay here. Austin, maybe you stay here if you prefer, yeah? Keep going, keep going. Lift, lift, lower, lower. So you've got a nice strong weight there to hold you, to anchor you down. Super slow, four up. Four down. Someone just double check that's okay for you, yeah? That's looking good though, but make sure it's not pulling. And down slow. Guys, singles, here we go. One, two, three, four. Go slower if you need to. Five, six, seven, and eight. Knees to chest, circle your lower back to the floor. 
circle the opposite way. Great, okay, so we're gonna roll to our tummies, everyone, and we're gonna start with a low load plank. So low load plank, meaning just on the knees there. So if you're just coming back into your exercise regime, this is maybe where you want to be. Melissa, have a go at it. If it's not right, go back to bridging. Everyone else, feet, tuck toes under, push the heels back. Keep the elbows under the shoulders and keep the head in line with the spine. Think of pushing the forearms into the ground and pressing your heels back. So the tailbone may need to be tucked under a little here. So stay there for me. If you'd like to progress the exercise, come up with me. And we're gonna take the knee to the side of the elbow. There. You could do it here on all fours now. So if you've had enough of your plank, you could be on all fours here, or you're up here with me. That's it, keep going. Push. How are we doing, guys? Everyone there. Good, Frank, keep going, keep going. Come on, stay with it. Now, everyone rest for a moment. If you've had enough, you're going to stay here in child's pose. Everyone else, we're going for the last big push. We're going to go for the panther. So we're going to go back. We're going to pounce like a panther. Ready? Here we go. And join in. Push. Progression, tuck that knee in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, we're not done. Two, one, hold, 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 hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, don't come down. Now come down, sit back. Woo, the warm-up's just finished, Victoria. Let's start the session. Right, so knees to your, you're sitting back into your child's pose position for me. Stretching out your back, your hips, your chest, your shoulders. If you need to dash, please do. I've gone over time. Take your right arm, thread the needle, listen to the floor. And then switch on the side. Come back to the center. Tuck your right toes underneath you. So Val, make sure you're on your knuckles here and press down into your calf stretch of the right foot. And then step that thigh across and look over your shoulder. So Melissa, this may not be for you. Bring it in. So Melissa, staying square neutral here. Everyone else, step across and look over your shoulder. Come back in. Sit facing me. You can sit on a pillow. Cross that leg over. If you've got knee pain, take it further away from you. If not, bring it in closer. So I'm your mirror. Your right hand wraps and you sit up tall. That's level one. Level two, rotate and turn to the back. But keep your heel active towards the screen and you're looking back towards your shoulder, your left shoulder. Drop your chin just a little. If you want more out of this stretch, kick your butt and you're going to more of a pretzel stretch now. And then from there, hands support you to side two. So now your left leg is out, your right leg is crossed and you twist. So Mel, you're sitting upright here. Everyone else, you're turning. 
stay there. Try and find length in your spine. I'm pretty tight in my back, so it's hard sitting up tall. You could sit on a block right now if you prefer. Kick your butt and then twist around even more. This does wonders for your glutes and your spine. And now go for your inner thigh stretch. So soles of your feet come together. Breathe in. As you exhale, push your knees down with your elbows. Just a little, don't do yourself a mischief. Um, I physically can't lean too far forwards, but if you can, keep a flat back as you lean so you're not rounding. So no flexion through your spine. And then safely bring yourself to stand. Coming up. We're gonna do a quadriceps stretch standing as well as hamstrings. So grab a hold of your right foot. Stay there for me. If you need to dash, please do. Oh, I am still here. Hold it there for me. And then take that leg forwards and tip. Now in this position, lift your tail feathers and you'll feel it more. But that doesn't mean drop your head. And you notice the difference in that stretch, your calf as well. Now place the foot down and roll up safely. Quad stretch on the left. Please dash, I've gone over nearly five minutes, apologies. Press the hip forwards. And take it out. So let's keep a nice, beautiful alignment here. So if the bones are in the correct position, more effective. Eye line above your heart, tail feathers lifted, and then place your foot down, bend your knees and curl up. Shoulder stretch, you stay where you are. I'll come a little closer, and then do your tricep. Maybe lean today if you want to, Melissa, ignore that cue chest and then the other shoulder Ooh. it got quite warm today lean if you want to upper back nod your chin chest stretch now these all depend on injuries you know don't do it if it doesn't feel good and then this is for wrist forearm bicep there so you like that and then bring it into there. Same on the other side. So if you do have RSI in the hip joint, this may not be great. Don't do, don't force it. And then bring it in, and then do that for your wrists. Take an inhale up, take an exhale down, and that's us done, folks. Well done for your session. Let me just quickly pause the recording, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend. I'm just pausing the recording.